Uh, all right. Now, uh, Stuart Robert is the uh, Government Services Minister. He's the one responsible for making sure that the app uh, can get downloaded. I'm going to push it hard, not because, as one person called me via email, Chairman Murray, I just want to get the word out as much as possible. If you've already downloaded the app, I know it's annoying, but there will be someone sitting around that room on Friday who will go, how many people have got the app? Let's make that number as high as possible. <laughs> so then, hopefully, the right decisions can start to happen from Friday. Not that they haven't been great to this point, but I'm saying the next big decision's coming through. And uh, I had a chance to talk to him a little bit uh, earlier in the evening. Three big things worth bringing you. How many people have got the app? Well, 4.3 million, uh, give or take 700,000 more than mid-afternoon yesterday, which, which is really good. We're sort of tracking about 10,000 an hour. However, we'd love more. Clearly, we'd love more. We'd, uh, we want many, many more Australians. And I think it's a matter of just educating and informing and giving people the opportunity. And as much as we can get the message out to say, restrictions get eased quicker if we all download the app so we can ensure tracing happens quickly. And it's just a, it's a message issue. Also important here about how the whole point of the app is to speed up a process that is already happening. It's a digital process to speed up a manual process. There are hundreds, there's probably thousands of really dedicated state health officials that do manual tracing. And we know if we're to get rid of restrictions and get back to normal life, it has to be a lot of testing, a lot of tracing. Uh, and then as what other countries have shown, if there's secondary outbreaks, we need to contain those rapidly. Well, the app simply speeds up that manual process, but speeds it up or would normally take sometimes days in minutes. And that's what we want to see. Fast, fast tracing by state health officials so we can get out, back to the footy, back to the beach. Ski season's almost upon us. Uh, if we're going to get back skiing, we've just all got to get on this Team Australia moment, mate, uh, and, and get in on the app. I also asked him, just because I was interested, do you have any information about where people are downloading the app, about who's... And he said... No, Paul, we don't have that information. That's kind of part of the point of what we're holding back. He made this joke, however, which I've got to say, uh, when I did a little Zoom birthday uh, call for my mate Steve-O's birthday, happy birthday, great man, uh, which is happening tomorrow, may the 4th be with you, also happy birthday to my sister-in-law, Lara, um, is that uh, before the Zoom call started, I said, look, has everyone got the app? Yes, 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 yes. And the minister seemed to like the idea. It's a joke, by the way, everyone. Don't say this is a new government policy. We, uh, we should, on every Zoom call, everyone should have to actually demonstrate they've got the app. They should actually have to show that up and say, right, no one Zooming unless, unless that, unless COVID safe is showing. That should be the start of every single Zoom call uh, that we do. That we do. All right, more than 4 million people do your bit for Mother's Day.